This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're on route to Karazuri Body Shop where today we are gonna fire up the Challenge Rodali Spider for the first time. That's right, last night I got all the fluids in the car and it's ready for that first fire up. But I wanted to save that special moment for you guys. So let's head on over there and fire it up. Good news and bad news. Number one, it does start up, which is great news. Uh, bad news is it doesn't sound too healthy. Now the uh, good thing about 360 engines is they're quite clever. They go through a relearn process um, when you first fire them up uh, from when you've had the battery off and everything like that. Obviously we have on this one, but that normally after about 30 seconds to a minute kind of irons it all out and it smooths it all off. This definitely uh, was not going to do that. So we're playing it safe. We've turned it off. I'm going to go around and just check all my connections, make sure there's nothing obvious. So a little bit more investigation, it sounds like it's this side of the engine that is causing the problem. When you feel the exhausts, one side seems to be okay, and this one really seems to be popping and spluttering. So we're gonna focus on this side of the engine. There's a few things that I'm gonna be looking for. Number one are some earth straps. I'm gonna reseat all of those and check all of our connections down here for the O2 sensor, the uh, lambda sensor, there's another O2 down there, connections up here, CAT ECU, they're the typical things. And then don't forget, we've also given this engine a little bit of a clean up. So we're gonna check our plugs, check all our coil packs as well. Okay, so this is our coil pack. I'm gonna check all of these, but it all looks okay now. I was just concerned a little bit where we cleaned up the engine, that we got any uh, damp or any water in there or cleaning solution, but that looks good. I'm gonna whip out all the plugs and just double check those as well. With 2022 fast approaching, I'd love to know some of your resolutions. One of mine is to have a kick-ass website for Rata Rossa and maybe sell some more merch. And with today's video sponsor, Squarespace, that resolution is a simple one to achieve. Squarespace has everything you need to create a website from easy to use templates, social media tools, 
marketing through to analytics. It's all there at your fingertips. Before starting my YouTube channel, I had a lot of fun blogging some of my builds online. And nowadays, a lot of what I learn is from reading car blogs. Maybe you got a talent for washing cars or a special car project out there that really needs to be shared online. So jump on it, head on over to Squarespace and get that website set up. And if you use my link in the description below the video, you're gonna save yourself 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now I've gotta say a massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now let's head on back and try and fix a Ferrari. So it appears we might've got lucky here. The earth for our left side ECU, apologies for the noise in the background, um, was not seated very well. And as I said earlier, these ECUs are actually in a temporary position. We have to find somewhere to put them because they would normally sit on the spider roof frame, which sits about here. But there was a pre-drilled uh, 10 mil hole here, so we use that. Normally there's two bolts through here. Uh, so I don't know if that's made a difference. Anyway, I've reseated it, cleaned it all up. As you heard, it seems to make a difference with the engine running notes. Uh, so I'm gonna have a look at uh, the other side, just check everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run this up and see after about 30 seconds of idling if it irons out that kind of curve. trying to narrow down the fault at the moment, fired up the engine and uh, checked the belts. The tension on all of those. Kind of feels okay at first touch. And uh, next thing we've done is fired it up, sprayed a bit of WD-40 on just the pulleys here. And again, the noise is still there. So next plan is we're gonna take some of the covers off, might remove this belt here i just quickly fire it up and see if we can narrow it down to, that would be water pump, uh, a couple of other things. Anyway, we're gonna do that. So we need to loosen off the alternator, then we can remove the belt, the alternator pivots, and then we can take this off. So just go and do this one first, and then we've got a tensioner, a 90 mil tensioner over there. Okay, should be good enough. Now this one, if I remember correctly, goes the opposite way. One of those days guys, I know that fault goes the other way. Uh, one snapped on my 355, it's exactly the same design. Uh, my buddy Sam Crack had the same thing on his 360 and you saw that one tiny turn in the correct direction and the thing snapped. So we're gonna have to order another one of those from Ferrari, uh, but that's not too bad because I've got to get another set of gaskets for this anyway. So I want to go home. <laughs> so we got the belt off. That means we've got no movement up here, down there, here, just over here. Not that. So that little test has eliminated quite a few things. Water pump here, pulley down there, alternator here. Water pump belt is driving the uh, power steering belt. So that is also eliminated. We've got the AC pump down there. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we have got a water leak right down in the guts underneath this plumbing chamber, this air manifold. Uh, where we've changed the uh, heat exchanger, I think 
one of the gaskets is not good and uh, I did put new ones on there but maybe one wasn't seated correctly and I can show you we've got water pouring out so uh, can't really run up the engine too much anymore because it's uh, we're, not, we're not just uh, retaining water pressure there so Basically, what this means is we've got a bit of a nightmare on our hand. All of this top plenum chamber has to come off. We need to redo all the gaskets, and that is not an easy job. What I was worried about is I really need to desperately fix that water leak. Um, but what I didn't want to do is fix it and then have to go back in there to rectify that squeal. But by eliminating those things, hopefully, it means we're not going to have to go there in there a second time. So I'm going to jump ahead, I'm going to fix the water pump, uh, the water leak, and then we'll come back and look for the squill afterwards. Uh, but it just means that I can focus on here, we can take all the uh, belt covers off and everything like that if we need to. So I'm going to jump ahead and start stripping this down. Okay, so we've successfully got the manifold off the plenum chamber and uh, I've had a quick look. Now our leak was coming from this here. So, uh, and mainly down on this bit. So, I have managed to tighten that up before we took all this apart and it made no difference. Now I've just checked again. And again, there's hardly anything on it. So I think we've just got a bad gasket there. So I'm gonna take no risks at all. I'm gonna replace all those eight gaskets on there. And obviously, because we've taken this plenum off, we're gonna to have to replace all eight on here as well, just to, uh, I don't wanna do this a third time. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna go and um, pick up some of those and another bolt that we've uh, managed to snap as well. So, I'll be back. Okay, Monday morning and my guys at Marinello have done an awesome job. I ordered these Friday, so we've got our replacement gaskets, our bolt, we're ready to go. Everything's stripped down over here, kind of didn't want to go too far and leave everything exposed over the weekend, so we need to remove all of the heat exchanger again, all of the gubbins around there, which means most of this needs to uh, get loosened and come off so we can lift it out and change those gaskets again. Finally got to the broken bolt. Let me explain what it takes to get to that broken bolt. So the uh, all of the bracket around the alternator down here has to come off, which means there's a load of other stuff because there's three bolts here and there's three bolts on that side that need to come off. So things like this crash box needs to come off. The crash box that we put on earlier, the plastic one on the front, that came off. Here's our broken pin. So somehow we've got to get it out of here as well. I've managed to get that out, it wasn't too bad. Here's our replacement Ferrari. Sort your design out because they are terrible. A quick lesson on how this works. So this is our bolt and the reason we had to strip all of this bracket off is as you can see on the uh, broken sheared one here, we've got a collar that sits in there. This is all mounted 
to the engine block so there is no way of getting this old bolt out without actually separating it there otherwise you just can't remove it anyway as you tighten this up as you can see it moves this which in turn moves our little pulley here which sits on our belt like that and as you tighten or loosen it it does exactly that on our belt simple anyway one little thing I can do now is just give this bracket a nice little clean up Okay, so we have resealed everything up the top here with a new set of gaskets and I've taken no risks this time. We've put a bit of gasket seal as well on, uh, on each of those eight ports. There was a tiny, tiny little split in the gasket over here and that's why all the water was pouring out. So sealed it, just got to let it dry for a little while before I move on. Uh, now, while we were in there, basically to remove all this again, it meant we had to, uh, to disturb as little as possible. We had to remove some of this here, uh, which meant taking out things like the water pump. So what I had to do was remove all of the cam belt covers. And well, a little bit silly, I should have really checked the history on this engine, but it hadn't had a cam belt service for the last seven years. Uh, so it was a little bit neglected. It had an oil service, annual service in 2018, where it had a couple of the auxiliary pump uh, belts changed. So we went through it, we had a little bit of play in the water pump, so we're gonna take no risks at all on this. We're gonna change basically everything in this area so belts tensioners hydraulic tensioners don't know how old those are um, both of the pulleys here have got a very slight bit of play that's never ever going to get better so it's only ever going to go in one direction so both of those are being changed all the auxiliary belts and like i say the water pump so it's it's going to be like new this we've done obviously the heat exchanger as well uh, we're going to give it a service so we've got a service kit let me show you what we've got down here full service kit belts plugs uh, we've got the hill engineering upgraded bearings we've got our tensioners here our hydraulic tensioners our two pulleys but the main thing that we have is the water pump now as i said we had a little bit of play on the bearing on this but this is the original ferrari one and they use this plastic impeller which over time starts to kind of degrade and fall apart so we've got an upgraded one that uses this metal impeller much much better design uh, so really happy because this car is going to have some upgraded parts on it which means it is going to be like i say a very very well sorted engine anyway i uh i'm going to start rebuilding this and uh yeah fingers crossed i'm not going to really know until we put quite a lot of it back together if it is uh fix the water leak okay we have a fresh set of gaskets on for the plenum chamber all of the water works let's say are uh, plumbed in um that i used a bit of gasket seal on as well so hopefully we have no no water leaks if we do you will see a grown man cry um but i'm going to just put the plenum chamber on now and uh we can start rebuilding it once again Well guys, there you go, another massive milestone in the Stradali Spider project. It's running and it sounded absolutely epic. And thank goodness we have got rid of all of those water leak issues. I'm gonna head inside now, we're gonna order up some more bits, finish that full major service on the car, 
then it's heading on over to paint where we are going to transform this into something absolutely spectacular hope you enjoyed it guys if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you're not already please do subscribe to the channel you can check out also what i get up to on a daily basis over on my instagram where i post a few sneak peeks of what goes on behind the scenes anyway guys stay safe i'll catch you in the next one ciao for now